Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with Fishing Planet. And yes, we are here with the ocean fishing capabilities at this point. We are actually in Japan at, I believe it's called Kaji Nori. And there's two spawn points that we can access. We have this one here called the Tori no Koto and Green Harbor. Well, at least I can pronounce that properly. Uh, that's where the boat will be. I'm not sure about this one, but yeah, guys, uh, you got to check the DLC. It's got everything you need to be able to make this work. Uh, it is going to require level 83 to get here. I'm only a 64. I'm a long ways off. So you're going to have to have that to be able to explore this. But I have a feeling it's going to be well worth your time and effort because... I've seen uh, Bo Angles play a little bit today that he just put out some, and he's bringing in some major cash and XP, so you're going to level up very fast here, very fast. That is one of the goes, and also the shop things are kind of expensive. You know, you check out your rods, you're getting into 990 bait coins per rod until you get to a certain level. And even then, it's 140,000. So, yeah, it's not cheap <laughs> to get them. But then they're trying to play for players that are much, much higher level. So, anyway, we are going to jump in here and take a look around first. It took me a little while to get my gear set up. We've got five new missions. I think we're going to probably start with an exploration mission because, honestly, I have no idea how to move around. Um kind of guessing with some of the gear because we only get two rods and, but we got all kinds of lures and stuff so let's check this first one here that's not where the boat is just to see what's there okay looks like I completed a challenge just by coming here it says Kaji no Ri Sailor 1 Enjoy exploring Kaji no Ri and its premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge, okay? Well, let me see here. We have got... This is just a basically, it looks like a little fishing spot where you don't have to actually go out on a boat. Lord only knows what's out there. But... Kojinori Exploration 1. We need to catch a big fin reef squid, an anchovy, Japanese anchovy, a Japanese jack mackerel, and a striped bonito. Those are smaller fish, so they shouldn't be all that tough to get. And I think we're in the middle of a peak here. Look at the water on that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, a lot of this is going to be trial and error. A lot of this is going to be exploration. There's going to be all kinds of guys out there with mega mega time to go through and try to find these locations. So check out their channels and see what they've done too. Might help you if you get stuck. I don't know if you can go anywhere else here. If there's any places you can explore. And it looks like we're limited to this. Yeah, we're just here on a rock surface. There's no stairs or anything so I guess this is it you can just fish here well let's check out the other part of the map I don't think there's anywhere else we can spawn in these are the only two okay this well this looks cool 
I'm sure you can fish off here too, if you so desired. But I believe this bigger boat is mine. And we're here. Oh my goodness. This is a monster boat. Well, let's see. How do we get this thing going? And there we go. We got a fish finder. So it shouldn't be that hard to find something. I'm not sure how we do trolling. But I don't think we'll want to do it here. It looks like there's other places we can moor the boat too. M. Oh, okay, this is GPS mode. So it tells us how we're getting out of here. Whoop. It looks like there's something in the water over there. Yeah, I have no idea what we're dealing with here. But we are getting out into the actual ocean now. Well, I did pick up something right here. How do I get down to to fish here? Let's see. Q? There's an R. It's R. That's what I thought. It's been a while. <laughs> well, should be able to... Are these where I put our rods or something? Let me see here. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm not sure how you troll. Just yet. Haven't figured that out yet. Check the key bindings. We got boating. Place menu. Okay, let's see. It says hold R. Oh, okay. Bowen's fishing yacht. Huh? Oh, these are places where people can fish. So this is where they're. Yeah, I'm not sure yet how to find... I'm going to have to find out how to do the trolling mode. Okay, so you can move here if you want to. Move down here if you need to, or about walking. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll just give it a try with one of our rods. Let's see what we got here. We've got the Tropicana here, which isn't going to get as big as some of the others. It only goes up to 88 pounds. The one rod that it came with is this Reef Rider. And it goes up to, let's see, 154 pound test. 
We also got this bottom rod. We've got saltwater curved hick 16 and Japanese spiny lobster for bait. Now that is part of the template that they gave us. Just went ahead and set it up that way for now. I'm not sure if that's going to be too big. But, well, we could throw it out there and see what happens. Let's see, press shift plus one. All right, that's pretty simple. <laughs> and hopefully something will bite. Yeah. We can do up to, I believe, two. So let me go ahead and grab this rod. This is a trolling octopus. Let's see what this thing does. I think this one we actually either troll with or we can fish with. Just going to use a regular stop and go, see what happens. Yeah, I have not seen much of any videos on this, so this is going to be fly by the seat of our pants here. Yeah, this thing doesn't cast any distance at all. So this is strictly for trolling. Let's throw this one out. Put this one in. And what we'll do is we'll go back up here and see if we can't start the boat. And get it moving a little bit. So I guess we just tap it. Get this going with some speed. Then go back down here. Oh wow! That's cool. Yeah, I guess it would be better if you had somebody guiding the boat. We'll see if anything bites. Yeah, I don't have the tension on these very strong at all, so if something does bite, it isn't going to break the line. Get a little close there. Yeah, we can see the lines if something bites on them. Oh my goodness. We've got a bite. We 
actually have a bite. At least we did. Yeah, looks like he quit. Nope, he didn't quit. Oh crap, he did not quit. He is on there. He is on there. Whatever he is, he is on there. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is really cool. And he is not a little fish either. What in the world could it be? Okay, this is our first fish for this map, guys. If we can get him in. I didn't get a good look at him. Yeah, there's going to be quite the learning curve with this. There's baits I've never used. Never been deep sea fishing. Well, not since I was real little. We got him. Oh, good lord. A greater amberjack. 102 pounds. <laughs> oh my lord. That's a heck of a way to start this off. That is a nice fish. That's a heck of a fish to start off with. Well, for not knowing what I'm doing, I'm not doing bad. Let's see here. 102 pounds. 13,886. 7,167 XP. He's a trophy. Not even just a common one. Let me take a look at this guy. That's not bad. Trophy Greater Amberjack. Let's get a close-up here. Yeah, we definitely want to get our cheesy grin with this. That's better. 102 pounds. Now that, my friends, is a fish. First one. Yeah, I'd just have to get like three of these and it would pay for the trip right off the bat. Well, let's throw this out again. Put that back in. I'm going to check this one just to make sure that everything's kosher with it. But yeah, I'm not so sure that it would have... I think I might actually take this one down a little bit in tension here. We don't want to snap the line. Same with this. Yeah, we wanted to have some give. Let's lift the anchor and we're gonna head on out. Try this again, see what happens. Yeah, I would love to get Dula involved in this. I don't know if they he has to have the gear also or if he can just come on here and use my gear that would be nice but yeah we just kinda let the boat go keep an eye on where we're going so we don't crash into the rocks keep a lot eye on our I think we're getting another bite okay I'm gonna let this go Go, go ahead and go down there. 
Oh shoot. <laughs> I think we uh, need to get up here. We got one on each one. This is easier than I thought here. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Yeah, we got one on each one here, guys. Oh, he is taking it out. He is taking it out. Now, this is not one of the rods I got with the DLC, so this one may or may not hold up. And I'm not sure if we've still got one on the other one or not, but... This is the Tropicana. This is from the Amazon Maze DLC, originally. It works just fine here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, boy. It... Holy crap. Well, we can't use that one. <laughs> it broke the reel. Holy crap. That was, whatever it was, was very big. Yeah, you definitely want to have the right size. Ah, we could try throwing this out and see what happens. I'm going to check this other rod here real quick, but that didn't go very well, but we just learned something. Don't go trolling unless you have a big enough rod. <laughs> yeah, this one did have something on it, but I think it gave up whatever it was. Now this rod is a bottom rod, so I don't know how well it's going to do. It may not work with the trolling, honestly. What happens when we get this thing going again? Yeah, it didn't take long for something to go after it, that's for sure. I'm not sure if the bottom rods... Yeah, I'm going to try to get close over here to these. Nothing so far. Bates said it was pulled away, but I think we got us a bite again. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, we got us a bite. And it's taken off with it. Let me go ahead and stop this thing. Grab this before it gets off. Okay, he's taking it out. Now, I think this one's going to have no problem getting him in, but... 
Yeah, that other one just wasn't strong enough. Probably if we were on shore, we might have had better luck with that one, but... I couldn't even get the tension down low enough to where it wasn't damaging it. Whoa, okay. Let's see what this fella is. Okay, he seemed like he was coming in, but then he just suddenly got some strength. Okay. Alright, he's decided to get a little more power, but it's kind of like he realized he was caught. this up just a little bit more. Come on, come on, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Oh boy, he is not heck we got here Okay, we definitely got us a fight here. This is not one that's willing to give up the ghost easily. We got him. Ah, oh, another cool one. A dog tooth tuna. That's an odd looking fish. Not as big as the last one, but look at the teeth on him. Seriously unique looking. 11,535 cash. 94.525 pounds. 65.3 inches. Take a look at this guy. He's definitely a tuna. Has that body, but those teeth. Look at those teeth. He's got some choppers on him. That is a strange looking fish. Well, that's two different species. Get another picture of him. Dog tooth tuna, huh? Yeah, I'm going to have to do some studying up on the bottom fishing here. I don't know 
how to best find the proper spots for it, or if you just cast it out and hope for the best, or how that works. Let me throw this one back out again. So I'm kind of thinking this may be too big. That's a really big sinker on there. And a big hook. Let's go with a little smaller hook here. We've got your regular captain hooks. We do have smaller saltwater curve. We can go with an eight. And go with just some gulf shrimp. Let me see what like the dog tooth he would go for scaled sardine finger mullets Japanese anchovies so so far that's the kind of thing we're we're dealing with here I think it would be safe to go with gulf shrimp got plenty of them sinker size is still good don't need to change that necessarily I'm just going to throw it out there, see what happens. Now see, look at that, that's different. It actually lets it out slowly until it reaches the bottom. And then you close the bail. I guess you could just set it up right there, just like that. But I wonder if you can... Wait a minute. If you could just, like, lift it just off the bottom. Just like that. See if anything bites. But I'm going to go ahead and place that. And then I might go ahead and get out another rod. Let me see, I've got a float rod here too. Gosh, it kills me, that thing. Guess you have to take it back and have it fixed. Or replace it altogether. Bail Arena. Completely shot. Let's see, this is the Equator Match. Pretty heavy duty float rod. We've got finger mullets for it. But I kind of wonder if a waggler would be better for the bobber. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just kind of put a little bit deep. Let's see what happens. I mean, we might get a bite, you never know. I'm getting a bite. Holy crap. Am I actually getting a bite or is it just getting nibbled on? I wonder if my hook size is too big. Nope. We got something. What do we got here? Oh, we caught one of the requirements. We caught the big fin reef squid. Check him out. 
There he is. We got a little squid. I'm surprised he went for that size of a hook. He's got his little his little tentacles, those I forget what they call those on the squid. Well that is a cool looking thing. Yeah, he's not very big, but it doesn't matter. We just had to get one. He's a young one, so they do get bigger than that, obviously. Huh. Well, that was cool. It's all good out. Yep, we got a little fella here. You have to get the little ones, too. Got to give them and show them the love as well. <laughs> We'll keep him. Well, we got one of them. Uh-oh. What was that? Was some something going after that rod? I don't think so. It's not moving. Yeah, let me put this away. I'm going to grab this rod here. Yeah, I might decrease the size of the hook, too. That's a... I mean, sinker. That is a big sinker. Let's put, like, a... One of these cannonballs on there. Maybe a seven. There we go. And hook size. Eh, that'll work. But I am going to put... Let's see, do I have any... I don't have any bells for it. Mm. Didn't bring them. Might be able to get some here. Let me see here. Yeah, they're not very much. Let's just put a simple bell on here. That way, if we get something, we'll know we have it. Yeah, because we still got some small ones to get, and this may be the way to do it. Well, let me get out my float rod again. That was pretty cool. Now what does the Japanese anchovy go for? Obviously we're going to need a smaller hook than that. Sea worms. Okay. Might try that. Obviously we need to go with a smaller hook. I have a feeling they're going to be closer in, though. Well, let's just throw this out and see what happens again. This time I'm going to throw it over here. I could not believe I caught something like that. Yeah, I'm mostly just goofing around. I haven't done any real... There, we got another bite. I was going to say, there we go. We got... I think we might have us another squid, guys. And another young big fin reef squid. These are actually pretty easy to catch. <laughs> That is cool as all get up. What in the world is going on over here? Is 
seem to have anything. Well, let's go ahead and get back up here. And see if we can get one more fish. We're going to have to call it an episode, but I'm going to do a little more research. And supposedly, we can set out some nautical markers so when we find good places, we can mark them. Yeah, I don't think the bottom rod was attracting anything at the. So we may have to find a spot or something for that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try one more thing here. That didn't get any attention at all. These ones here, they're called squid chains. I'm interested to see what they might do. Especially these colorful ones. Put on a jig head here. Goes up to. Let's see. Let's do a jig head three ounce. And then we'll put on this one here. Oh, I thought I had to... Well, that's weird. How does this work? I thought it... Okay, so you put that on there and then you put a hook on. Huh. It's different. So you can put any of these on there as well. Oh wow, that should get something's attention. <laughs> you can't put any of these on here, these. No. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to start evaluating gear. But let's just throw this out, this all this stuff on here and see what happens. That increases our odds a little bit of getting some fish's attention. Oh, there's some big fish here, guys. Nothing went for it, but there could be something in there that warrants bottom fishing for. We got the saltwater curved hook. Let's try something a little more enticing here. Maybe some scaled sardines. Let's try this one here. Yeah, I definitely saw some big fish on the rate the sonar. getting a bite on that one too so that's good oh crap there we go we definitely got one this time 
and it's not little so when we saw that that was how you find them guys you stop the boat and drop your line off scaled sardines kind of an overall good bait to use let's see what we got here so this is the first bottom rod we caught one off it's probably something different than what we had before okay this one is not a little fish I'm guessing at least as big as the others that we got Maybe even bigger. I don't know. Let's see if we can't get a little more tension here. <coughs> Not too much more tension. It seems like the rum rod is my le weakest link here. Whoa. Okay, he shot up and <coughs> on the tension there, so I knocked it down a little bit. I don't want to screw up another reel. <laughs> That's the last thing I need to do. All right, let's see here. All right, this guy is going to be, he's going to give me a fight. This is what we wanted, guys. This is it. I can't remember if this is a bigger rod than the other or not. We're making a little progress. He's swimming around to the other side here. You little... He went under the boat. We got him. Nope. I thought we had him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, we hooked him. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> A unique one. I actually got a unique one here, guys. A unique giant <coughs> trevally. Holy crap. My first unique, and it's the very first time I've been out. Holy Christ. That is a big old fish. 159 pounds, 63.8 ounces, inches. 25,484 XP gained. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some serious leveling up here. Oh, my God. Definitely worth the while. Holy crikeys, that's a big fish. Let's see how big this fella is. Whoa. <laughs> look at the big, look at the size of his head. You can barely see my head. <laughs> He's so huge. My first unique, and it's the very first time I've been out. I don't know how easy or how hard it is to catch them, but I will tell you this. I'm putting a marker for right here. I'm not going to miss this up. Big old fish. That is a monster. And he is not even close to as big as what they get here. Definitely haven't gotten the giant groupers. I think they're going to be the biggest fish that can be caught altogether. Let's go ahead and keep him. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see here. <laughs> I was not aware that I had a fish on here. Let's see what we got here.
Well, if it's too big, I'm going to cut my losses here. Well, it's still making a little progress. So it's looks like he tired himself for the most part. I was not expecting that either. Yeah, it looks like I, while I was playing around with the Trevely, he was tiring himself out. Be nice if he'd be one of the ones that I need to catch. I know it's not an anchovy, but a striped bonito or a Japanese jack mackerel. I don't think it's that either. I think they're too. This is too big. Whatever it is. Come on, fish. You're getting tired and you know you are. Really? Almost got him, guys. Come on. I got him. Another dog tooth tuna. <laughs> Not bad. An 80 pound one off of this rod. Not bad at all. That's another 9,818 cash. Another 2928 XP. Not as big as that one, but not too far from it. <coughs> we'll keep him too. That <laughs> that was pretty good. Let me see here. What do we get all of this time? Well, that's sixty-three seven ninety-seven cash, just for a short period of time. Now, obviously, we can get plenty of weight here, four thousand pounds if we need to. So we can carry a lot of fish. This unique giant trevally, holy crap! That. See, the thing is, I didn't get a chance to mark this, so I'm gonna have to mark it for the last fish which is not exactly what I wanted to do but I think what I might do actually is put one of these navigator markers well we're gonna go ahead and set the mark out here That's about where I got him, too. Frustrating thing is, I didn't get to mark him when I wanted to, because I got him on scaled sardines in the midday. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. We're definitely going to be back here. There's some, looks like an island over there with some trees. Might be worth checking out. I know the giant grouper like to hang out in areas like that. Plus some of the smaller fish that we need to get might be out there. 
anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.